Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to click on the uh, kinematic body. And we're going to go to the plus button. And we're going to search for animation tree. So we'll select animation tree, select create. Now that we have the animation tree here, uh, what we need to do is look to our right with this animation player. This assign, by the way, the reason why we can assign this is because we went to, we did the editable children. So uh, with the animation tree selected, we'll select assign. We'll select the animation player of our mech. And then now for this tree root, we're going to select a uh, new animation node state machine. And then now with this active, we'll select OK. So now what we want to do is right click, go to add animation, select idle pose, right click, add animation, select walk. OK, now we want there to be a transition from idle pose to walk. So we'll select this connect node button, drag that to there. So I left clicked and dragged. Now I'm clicking and dragging to here. So now we have a translate transition between the two. We're going to go back to our select node. Remember this. Uh, remember that this is currently selected to this next step. You need to go back to your select and move node tool. So now with this selected, we'll look to this X fade time. We'll select this and enter in uh, 0 0.4 and press enter. And then we'll select the other transition, the same thing. We'll put in 0 0.4 and press enter. We also can click play and we'll see our poses. It's like we can see our, our walk pose there, uh, which is good. Okay, so now that we have that set up, What we want to do is select the kinematic body and then we're going to go to the plus button and we're going to add a collision shape. So we want the collision shape. Remember the reddish color is 3D, the bluish is 2D. So we'll select this. So we have our uh, collision shape. We want to go, well, we have it on. Now we need to actually define the shape by looking to the right. We'll select capsule. Now we're going to go to transform. Then for the rotation X, we want to turn this to 90. Now we're going to select right on the word capsule shape. And then uh, we'll increase this height some. I'm not sure why it's, it's increasing that much. So now with this capsule height change or the capsule shape, we can push this down. We're pushing this down so that our mech will know where the bottom of it is at. So the height we can actually take that down. That looks good. Okay, we're going to go to scene. Actually, before doing that, we're going to go to kinematic body, double click this. We're going to rename this player. Now we'll go to scene, save scene as player. We'll also go to this level, scene, save as a uh, level. Okay, so what we're going to want to do now is with the player selected, we're going to go to this script button here to add a script. We'll leave this script uh, the settings here at default, then we'll select create. So now that when we did that, that brought us into Godot script editor. Okay, here in the script editor, I deleted out the other code except for this top 
line. What I'm going to do is paste the code in and then explain to you basically what the code is doing. This line of code right here uh, lets you see this variable outside of uh, Godot. This right here, uh, this line of code lets connects you connects the connects the animation tree to the uh, code. This line of code here runs a loop where things run at sixty frames a second in this loop. This is this line of code sets up the uh, action press. So if you press up, then this anim tree connects connects the code to the pose walk. Uh, and then if this isn't pressed, then the this line of code, this line of code connects uh, the script to the uh, idle pose. So if you're not pressing anything, the the game back goes back to the idle pose. There is something I just remembered. Uh, I'm gonna. Go to this 3D view here. See this idle pose? We want this to be where the code starts. So with this selected, we'll go to this button right here, which says toggle autoplay this animation on start. So this this basically makes it so that everything starts with this piece of code here. And you can see that start now there. Okay, what we're going to do now is go to the level. We're going to make sure we select level. And then uh, with this level selected, we're going to go to the chain. And then we're going to select we're going to select player. And then we can see here is our mech right here. Okay, what we want to do now is go back to our player tab, select player, and there at the top. Then when we see animation tree, we want to select assign animation tree, then select OK. We're going to go back to, well, let's go to scene, save scene. We're going to go back to level now. Okay, here in the level, what we want to do is select level, select plus. We're going to search for a camera. So we want the reddish camera because our the reddish is 3D, the blue is 2D. We'll select create. So we have our camera here. We want to see a preview of what we what of what we're looking at. We can select this preview button, and we can see right there. So we'll take this up some. I'm rolling the mouse wheel to zoom back. Aim it down some. Back some more. Up some more. Okay. Okay, with the camera set up, what we should be able to do is go to the preview button. So we can see our mech there. So when we push the plus button, see how that stops? Then we go back, uh, we let go, it goes back to the idle. What we want is when we push the, not the plus button, but the up button is for the mech to continue walking, which it's not doing. So what you can do to fix that is we're going to click on player. We're going to click on where we see rigged mech. I'm going to left click here, then right click. And what I want to do is go to where I see make local. So I'm going to left click there. So now when I go back to level and then I click the preview button, now when I push forward our mech continues to walk and then when I let go it goes back to its idle pose
Okay, so now you know how to bring an animation from Blender into Godot, as well as to, as how to have a animation activate once you press a button. Okay, that's it for the tutorial. Uh, it's been a while since I made a tutorial. I'm hoping to get back and to continue to make tutorials on a more regular basis. Uh, for all of those of you out there who like the videos on this channel, we share them. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And for those of you who are new to this channel, if you like the videos on this channel, you would like to see more, please subscribe and thank you for viewing.